Now that we have attached the nucleo board to the base plate, we can turn to assembly of the tower. So the tower is constructed uh, in a very clever way by uh, joining four of these plexiglass uprights, each one of which has a tab that mates with the slot in the base plate. Also, each has an aperture that we're going to be using for uh, cable access between the tower and the nucleo board. Now further, the attachment between these plates is done without the requirement for any other brackets or gussets. Rather, there's a slot in each upright and a corresponding slot that accepts a nut. So a bolt can be passed through and join with this nut that will appear here. Um, we'll explain. Here we have uh, two. Let's join these. We'll do it this way. First, examine the upright. Notice that there is an aperture here for a bolt. We'll add one. Now at this time, let's add one nut. And we're going to advance the nut onto the bolt only about one half turn, just so that it's attached. Now, we take a second plate and align it so that the nut drops into this slot and the bolt accordingly. And at this point, the two uprights can join. The slot on the upright can match with the tab on the other. And notice now that the nut is trapped here. By turning the bolt, these two are joined. That's simple. Now, we can rotate this. I've already added, just to save time, a nut and bolt for this one. And so we can add this as well. So here we are, aligning. Now we have a second. We'll set this down. Now it's very important, by the way, to make sure, check and be very careful that this aligns with the base plate. A, a mistake can be made where these can be assembled in reverse order so that uh, the base plate becomes now a mirror image for these as opposed to an actual matching alignment. So right now it aligns properly. So we're, we're all set there. Let's add our last plate. And again, I've already added the nut here on the bolt to save time. Now, it's e easier to perform the assembly in this way with these freestanding. And we've got that. And then the last one. And now this part of the tower is assembled. Let's go ahead and snug these. They don't need to be very tight, but uh, it's an advantage at this stage if the tower is stable for the next assembly. Here we are. So that's assembled. Now, there's four more bolts we can add in the base. And these are easy. What we'll do is this. Place a finger here and then simply drop a nut uh, into the slot accordingly. Add the bolt through its clearance hole. 
And if the nut is oriented properly, the bolt will capture it. It may take more than one try for this. And then advancing the nut, advancing the bolt, will capture the nut in position and lock this into place. So we have one, and we're going to do all four in this way in the next steps. Notice we drop this nut into the slot, advance the bolt, now with this clever approach, again without any gussets or additional hardware, the entire structure now will become rigid. We're going to tighten this later. And we'll just add one more here to demonstrate. And of course, you're going to want to perform this with all four of the nuts and bolts. And the structure is already becoming quite, quite rigid, even now, even before final assembly. So there's our structure. Uh, we just have one more nut to add and uh, we're set. Uh, we'll now proceed forward to the next step, which is attaching the motor to its support plate and attaching the optical encoder to the motor.